What's up, everybody? Welcome to FFC Studios again. Uh, my name is Juvenal. Welcome to our channel. If you're here for the first time or second or hundredth time, you know, please feel free to like and subscribe down below. You guys already know we're the number one podcast for business, education, and entertainment. So, you know, really excited to have you guys watching today and really excited to have our friend here. Uh, you know, he came all the way from Escondido, California. You guys already know the, the brand. You guys have seen this logo around in bailes, fiestas, all over. Anywhere there's this madre. <laughs> and uh, you guys for those of you who don't know you know this is the ceo of puro desmadre brand you guys have seen it below so you know just want to say thank you so much for coming out today and you know making the drive so yeah i want to appreciate you thank you for the invite you and all very nice to meet you officially nice to meet you i know we met uh because of i think jesse no from gallo fino it was jesse yeah gallo fino shout out to jesse yeah shout out to he's doing big things too yeah. we had him on the pod just a few a few episodes ago he already passed six figures, and you know he's just every drop man sold out, sold out, sold, sold out, sold out. out. Every drop. So Good it's thing. that's the way to do it, huh? Yeah, that's the way. But dude, I know a lot of people don't know you from before. I know it's it's my pleasure to be able to meet you here today as well. And uh, you know, why don't you tell the people a little bit about your story, how Puro Des Madre came to be? Because I mean, this is a brand that you know wasn't around like two years ago, right? Something new. Wasn't around. And Last year. you're passing the six figures in, you know, followers, you're blowing up on social media on TikTok. For those of you who don't know, you know, he's they're going viral. They they have a very thriving business, which a lot of you guys can uh, use social media for to do the same thing. Yes, but sir. tell us a little bit about your story, your brand. How did it all come to be? Um, So just like everybody else, like I went to school and I went to college. I went four years I eventually graduated with a degree in criminal criminology and justice studies. So, but then after, right after I graduated from college, that was when the pandemic hit. So, oh, man. 2019, was, huh? Yeah, 2019. It was pretty much impossible to, like, get a job with my degree and everything. So, mm -hmm. I eventually, like, just started working, like, random jobs, like, factories, like, mm -hmm. stuff that was totally unrelated to what I wanted to do, like, yeah. I wanted to become a police officer, or like, a border patrol agent or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, I couldn't do anything, so I was just working jobs, and I was, like, eventually, like, getting fired for calling out too much, you know? Oh, man. I just didn't like it, so. I don't think anybody likes to work for somebody else. Yeah, I don't, nobody likes that, but that's my, that was my only choice at the moment, you know? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, and then after that, um, I started working at Macy's, Loss Prevention, um, Stopping all these, like, criminals, not criminals, but, like, these people stealing and everything. Mm. And, yeah. You ever so have to tackle somebody down and stuff at Macy's? Yeah, or? I got pepper sprayed. <laughs> oh, you uh, got pepper sprayed. Oh, you I weren't the one doing the pepper spray. Pepper sprayed. The ambulance had to come because they used bear spray. Oh, yeah. damn. A bunch of stuff happened there, and, like, it wasn't worth it for what I was making there, minimum wage. And oh, man. <laughs> and taking some pepper spray, though. Yeah. Oh that's my. that's when like the beginning of Pura's mother band kind of started because since we were back in the camera room, mm -hmm. um, I would be on my phone like managing my the beginning of like my brand, mm -hmm. and like eventually would get in trouble. Be like, why are you always on your phone? Yeah, but I, I was just <laughs> working on my brand during the time, you know. Yeah, that's, that was a start. Oh, where did it like? Where did the idea stem from from Pura's mother? Also, I own a a meme page on Instagram. It's called Desmadre de Cali, and. Mm. I was like, um, I have over two, almost 200,000 followers on that page. Okay. And I was like, I see like other brands, other like me, me pages selling merch. Mm -hmm. So eventually my first idea was like, oh, I should do like some merch. Like, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, I'm going to drop some merch and let's see how it goes. So I already had a friend, his name is Javi. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that does all my stuff. He was like, hey, let's give it a try. Um, never hurts to try. Like, let's make a couple shirts. And let's see how it goes from there. And that was the very beginning of Puro Desmadre around, like, March 2022. That's when it wow. first started. That's crazy. That's, and how did you meet Javi? Javi? You, yeah. I used to do um, promotion for him, for his boutique, um, mm. through one of my pages. Like, I would help, like, promote his clothing and everything through, like, paid, paid posts and everything. So ah, okay, that's okay. That's how I met him. And then... He, he was telling me, like, you have a lot of followers, brother. And I was like, you should start, like, your own clothing brand, you know? Mm. And that's where I met him, and then it all went from there. You know, and that's cool because um, a lot of people see, you know, 
if the same situation, somebody would have been like, oh, that's, if I tell him to do that, then he's going to take business from me or it's competition. Yeah. But it's all about collaboration nowadays. Yeah, it's all about collaboration. Yeah, that's how most people, and if you look at artists, if you look at any industry, that's how most people are blowing up. For us here, when people come into our office, it's it's like a collaboration. It's like a collab. Because the more that we help people move forward, succeed, have good foundations in their business and grow, well, it's another representation of us. Yes, sir. That's why I know Gallo Fino, you know, he's been doing very well and, uh, you know, he recommended and the results show. Yeah, the you results know, always show. Like, you put in the work, you're going to get the results. Yeah, so, no, no, it's awesome, man. And then you just started making some, some gear and kind of things took off from there. Things took off. I actually started off with... This jacket in the middle, and mm. th- in the summer, and mm. I was still selling jackets even in the summer when it was like 100 degrees. So h- how did you d- go about making those sales? Because a lot of people start brands. Yeah. A lot of people that watch this episode, they see all types of different business owners who work with, different brands. Mm-hmm. And they say, okay, they want to make a shirt or two and then try to see how they can sell it. What was that process like to be able to create a business and, s- and start selling? So mainly, like, we started off with the shirts. We made, let's say, like, 10, 20 per size. Mm-hmm. And then I started posting on TikTok. TikTok was where, like, I got my first video with a million views. Yeah, so and TikTok's from, the place to be for TikTok's business. TikTok's the place to be because from April, mm. May, and June, I made, like, let's say $2,000 in sales only. Wow. And then, like, in July was my first big month when I hit, like, around 50 grand in sales. That was mainly, wow. like, from TikTok. From TikTok. A video got a 1.1 million views and like it went viral all over the for you page and mm-hmm. that's when like sales i started seeing my phone blowing up and i was like well there's potential here you know <laughs> you're like javi you <laughs> get to work my boy <laughs> i told him get to work and then like the thing is when he was like when my page was blowing up when my sales were going up yeah he was on vacation in puerto rico oh. i was like get, to, get back already i need you like the days were passing by and the orders kept stacking up. And I yeah, was yeah, like, people were not people getting were, their orders. And yeah, stuff. it was on the original shirt. Yeah, that shirt went crazy. Like it's probably the best seller out of all of them. Wow. Yeah. How much did you sell it for? It's just twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Yeah. How how many did you sell of that one shirt? That that first drop. Um, let's say around two thousand shirts. Two thousand shirts. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. They still keep selling to this day because it's the very first original shirt. So like, I like to keep it in there, you know. Of course. It's the, it's it's the, the OG. Is the, the OG. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. That was your first big hit, huh? That was the first big hit. And what did you? How did? What did you do next? And I was like, let's keep pushing it with the jackets. It's gonna start getting cold now. And then mm-hmm. I started like messaging my friends who are like they're like what do you call them creators, and I would send them PR packages. They helped me out with like videos. Mm. and then like with that videos i'd use it for content they'd post it on their tiktoks and i post it on mine and my instagram mm-hmm. and then with the use of like hashtags and everything like mm. you got to push it out to the correct people mm-hmm. and then that's eventually how like my instagram started growing my tiktok started growing at the same time mm-hmm. so and then that's where sales started coming in nice so pretty much the use of like creators anybody like yeah anybody with some influence with collabs you know, like you say collabs and PR packages, for the people that don't know, what I know you have your definition of PR packages. What, what is that? Because a lot of people, they want to get their brand known. They uh-huh. want to push content. They want to get their brand known. But they don't do what you do. They don't, they're not willing to share. Yeah, a lot of people don't do PR packages. That's important. Like you gotta, it's like, in a way, it's going to cost you a little. But either way, you're going to give out somebody that's going to help you grow too. So mm-hmm. in a way, it benefits both of you because they'll, they'll also grow from like, the content they post, mm-hmm. yeah. So a PR package is what? Just some. It's just sending like somebody like a, c- a few like items from your merch shops and stuff, and mm. pretty much like they help you out and then you help them out. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So sharing, 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 sharing with everybody, sharing. giving samples, sharing. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, for those of you starting a brand or starting a line, that's that's the way you grow, right? You that's the way to grow. You go to all the influencers and you give them a care package of your brand. Did, did you write anything on top of that or was it just like, how did you even get addresses? How did you get information? You know, just message them and then you, you have to be like someone you know, like pretty mm-hmm. close to, you know, so no one's just going to send you their address, you know. Mm. Yeah, That's like, you got to be a little bit close to them or something or just reliable and they, they'll trust you and mm. you trust them for making content for you. That's mm-hmm. how you start. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have difficulty getting their foot in the door. Yeah. What What did you do to build that trust with people that you were just, 
that maybe were influencers that you were starting to try to get in your brand in now? So first I started off with like a few closer friends who were like, and then from them it kept on escalating to like more people. Cool. Like I started off with the closer friends who trusted me. Mm-hmm. And like there's some that have like a good amount of following, like my friend Angel. He's one of the first ones to help me out. And from him, he started posting on his story and then like my brand started like kind of like, how do you say it? Do you say it? Like, started reaching more people. Mm-hmm. And then I started getting DMs on like, how do I join your PR team? How do I join? Mm. Um, can I model for you? All these like questions. And mm. from there, like I was like, I seen like who like who would help, you know? Yeah. I'm sure the <laughs> when they ask you, oh, can I can I model for you? I'm yeah. sure definitely that's a uh, yeah, that was good. That was good, huh? <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend at all? Um, right now I'm, I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. Okay, okay. How does she feel about the models? <laughs> uh, I mean, she's cool with it right now, but eventually, sometimes she does be saying like, "Yeah, I don't want you to <laughs> you know. go make content." Yeah, but it, she's she's cool. That's funny. No, no, that, I mean, that's, of course, completely off topic and all, but, <laughs> yeah. but and so, what, what's the plan this year? I know we've been working together now, and, um, you know, congratulations, you've you know, officially incorporated everything, officially got your trademark, you registered your name, why, why did you do all that? Why did you decide to incorporate, why did you decide to trademark your stuff? It was, it was growing, like, I don't want to be the, like, all of a sudden, like, I'm working hard, making sales, and all of a sudden, I see someone else, like, trademarks my brand, you know? Mm-hmm. That would have been... I would have been very, very bad. Like, yeah, I would not, I would have not liked it. Like, it would have been. Yeah, no, and for a lot of people that, that don't know, when you register your brand or you trademark it, it's for the fact that you want to protect it. Yeah, it's to protect you want, your brand. To you want to protect the name. You want to protect the logo, which is what makes you guys money. Yeah, eventually, like the brand becomes your your baby. You know, mm-hmm. so you're just you gotta take care of what you worked hard for. Yeah, hundred percent. And I know we we're doing your books now and your accounting and all, and all that. Um, I mean, how, how important do you think that is now that you're understanding a little bit more and more about it? Yeah, it's very important. Like, it's very important to get someone to do your books, to do all that accounting stuff for you. Because if you have no knowledge, like I did, like my stuff was all over the place. Like, thankfully, I now have Juvenile now here to do my books and everything. Because without him, I'd be lost right now. Like. I wouldn't even know what to do or anything. No, and, uh, no, yeah. no, no, you, you're not, of course, you're not just clueless. You also had a bunch yeah. of stuff in order. You had your business account set up. You had everything, like, you know, at least in the right direction. Yeah, I was headed to the right direction, but I still needed, like, the tips and, like, all the, you know. The little details. The little details. All right, tax season is here for a lot of you guys that are watching this, that are probably going to watch this in the next week or so. Um, you know, if your books are not in order, if things like that, if you need help and guidance, you know, feel free to reach out, but... At the end of the day, what our goal has always been here at FFC, and, and you know, I'm sure you've, you know, we've talked about this before, is to make sure you guys have a very strong foundation to grow. Because this year, what's the goal for the brand? Quarter, half a million in sales. At least a half million, a million in sales. At least half a million. Yeah, at least half a million, which has the potential to do a lot more than that. Yes, sir. But unfortunately, a lot of companies that you know come to us that are either struggling, that are failing, or that have big high hits of penalties or whatever the case may be from the state or the irs come to us like that because whoever was working with them before didn't do their books right didn't get them in compliance didn't advise them correctly their accounting is all messed up so they make money and this is one of the things i want you guys to keep in mind and i know we mentioned this to you before but it's not about how much money comes in it's about how much money you keep yeah that's true and a lot of people don't understand that and so today i know we we wanted to we're going to be going into like just a preview of what what this mother brand is I know I'm excited to have you come back later on to go into a lot more details to how things have been going, the success you've had this year, and kind of what's new with the brand. I know you want to take it to travel as well. Yeah, I want to travel. I want to like help out those who've helped me, you know, eventually. And then it's going to happen. It's going to happen this year. But what's one thing that you'd like to tell people that are starting off a new company, a new brand? Because I know you, you had your job. Yeah. You know, you took a risk decided to go more into this industry versus staying at a job nine to five or whatever the case may be only. But tell us about that journey. What, what's one thing you'd recommend to somebody who's working, maybe part-time working full-time, but has a dream of having something alongside their job. So one tip I'd give everybody that I eventually should have done since the beginning was to start everything off. Right. 
like get everything in order first and do everything the correct way and then like start your the growing process because you don't want to wait till like last end of the year to do everything the correct way Mm. or once you're like already like kind of established so Mm -hmm. that's the one tip like that honestly i would have i could have changed i would have done everything the correct way since the beginning makes sense no no makes sense and i know we live in a very social media rich world yeah i know your brand has uh, you don't have any stuff in stores do you not yet so you've grown this to and quarter past quarter mil just social media huh just social media pretty much so how important for everybody that's watching here today how important do you think social media is and and what are some tips on social media that you give to people for them to grow their brands so for me social media is like everything pretty much without social media like if i was to go a week without posting then i'd get no sales the more you post the more sales you get because it goes to more people share it like on instagram they send it to their friends they send it like i want this jacket look at her she's wearing this jacket like i like it you know it goes out to more people the more you post the more reach you get and then from that reach you'll eventually like let's just say one or two percent of people they reach is are gonna end up buying so if i don't post anything then there's not gonna be no sales so content you're in the content yeah most people don't understand they're not in the clothing business they're in the content business in the content business because that's what moves product yes sir Right. And uh, no, that's awesome, man. I, I think that's a lot of value for people that are not leveraging social media. We push it very hard here. I'm like, hey, you, know, you got to push content because for us, that's what helped us kind of start trending. And I mean, we have a crazy amount of people that want to work with us now because of social media. Mm-hmm. And of course, the connections we make. But in your case, anybody that you want to shout out, anybody that you want to say thank you to that's helped you along the way? So the very first person who ever helped me with her name is Juanita. Um, she's the first hey, person. Juanita the first person to ever help me model and then i want to shout out to tamara um lucia um marilyn they were the first because before it was madre i dropped like a few shirts from my meme page it was like let's just say i dropped like 10 and they were the first persons ever to to buy from me and then angel my compa angel shout out to angel a uh, shout out to the ruby she's the main model right now and she's the one that's helped me out the most throughout she's probably the reason why i've grown so much big shout out to ruby, ruby. saludos make sure you uh tag them all <laughs> tag them all when we make this podcast we'll send us all they're at would love to tag them and uh you know shout them out as well mm-hmm. that's awesome how about any business colleagues that have kind of helped you along the way as you're growing shout out to gallo fino honker co um i i don't really know dandy hats but i look up to him mm-hmm. i like how he, he his business model and everything um Needlepoint Embroidery for making my hats. Um, and Javi, my supplier, he's the one that makes everything for me. Those are my main people. That's awesome. No, and I, I think it's important to give some love to those people because those are the people that have they've been day one with us and they've helped yeah. us out and grow and, and become who we are. And, and, of course, I know you're, you know, some of these people you probably passed already and you're, you know, you're already at a different level. But it's important for us to always continue knowing that, hey, we were there one day as well. And so as the year grows, as you reach your million dollar brand, any big things you're looking to accomplish with this once you hit the mill? A million? Yeah. Or what's your what's your dream? Uh what you're gonna purchase when you hit the mill? I want a rancho. I want a puro de desmadre rancho, like in the gates. It's puro de desmadre rancho, you know? Hey, I want a ranch. You gonna throw some uh, Pico Rivera style parties or what? Parties there and then do content there too, you know? Yeah. That'll that'll be amazing having a rancho here in LA. Like a content rancho? Content rancho. Like where everybody, awesome. even friends, come pull up and stay the night, you know, have parties, everything. That's awesome, man. No, no, that's awesome. Hey, if you want to be part of the content rancho, content <laughs> make rancho. sure you comment below. Let me know. For sure, it's going to be the Puro this Madre Fam is growing. I see it like every day. just growing, growing, growing. So I'm sure you're going to have a big, you're going to need a lot of room. Need a lot of room. <laughs> and eight rooms. Yeah. yeah. No, man, well, I appreciate the time. I know today's episode was going to be a little shorter because we want to give people a little taste of what you got going on. Uh, anything you want to leave the people with today that, you know, that are going to be watching this and that are, you know, followers of yours that support the brand or that are inspired by what you're doing? I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me since the beginning. Like, I appreciate every single one of you. And, like, 
um, follow your dreams. Um, everything's possible. I myself didn't know that I could become like a big business owner. Like I always, I used, to, I always used to be like a shy person. Like who'd ever thought like I'd be creating content, you know? Mm-hmm. So like I follow your dreams. Anything is possible. Um, if you wanna like start your own clothing brand, like I'm here to help you. Like feel free to message me and like I could help you. That's awesome. Well, Armando, thank you again for uh, coming out today. I know uh, you know you came from far, and of course you guys gonna have a good time while you're here in LA. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Pico Rivera Sports Arena later. Yeah, so you guys are gonna get to see on. Well, you probably have seen already on Instagram his story. You're gonna have a good time. But again, thanks again for accepting the invitation. I know it's your first podcast. My first podcast. Okay, Short and nerds. sweet, but you know we're excited to have you guys come back. Of course, in the next few months, and uh, just maybe bring some of the people in your team. Yeah, next time for sure. I'll you bring can have them. them uh, we'll give them some FFC gear too, so they can, you know, do some, some little videos. But um, you know, thanks again for coming and taking the time. I appreciate you know anybody who comes out to our studio who makes the effort to also do business with us because it just is one more addition to the family here, and it's one more person that I can not only build a friendship with, but we can point to and be like, look, there's somebody who came to us that maybe I'm no expert at doing what you do. I'm an expert in doing what I do. But working together, we can create something that's prosperous for a lot of people and, you know, help out the economy here in the world that we live in. So, yes, sir. you know, if anybody needs help with any kind of business stuff, we're more than happy to help you guys. Please reach out to us at Familia Farias Consulting. Check us out on FFC Studios. Where can they find you? What pages do you want to share? I want to share Puro Desmadre Brand. Check us out at Puro Desmadre Brand on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, too. Yes, that. And we'll put his ad as well down below. So if you want to check him out. We'll put them there below. And, of course, again, thank you, everybody that watches our episodes. Make sure you stay tuned. We have a pretty jam-packed next few months. A lot of guests. And, uh, you know, when we have you coming back, we're definitely going to have a group of special guests, too. So, you know, thank you guys for following. We'll see you guys next episode. See you guys. Take care.